A firestorm has erupted over Meghan and Harry's latest Time 100 speech. Uh, the first is the palace issues a scathing response after Prince Harry's speech telling America to vote Trump out. Well, they didn't exactly say specifically vote Trump out, but, and I'm going to read you the speech because the speech is very interesting and you need to hear it. But it's very clear which side Meghan stands on. She said she would not live in America if uh, Trump became president. She called him a misogynist. So what did the palace say? The palace refused to back Prince Harry and Meghan's political speech, claiming they were personal comments. And then they told the son, quote, we would not comment. The Duke is not a working member of the royal family, and any comments he makes are made in a personal capacity. It is not okay for royals to speak on politics, and Harry is not even a citizen of the United States, and he has never voted in an election, and yet he's making comments on the American election like six weeks before the election. Here's the speech. Megan said, every four years we're told the same thing, that this is the most important election of our lifetime. But this one is. When we vote, our values are put into action and our voices are heard. Your voice is a reminder that you matter because you do and you deserve to be heard. For his part, Harry said, as we approach this November, it's vital that we reject hate speech misinformation, and online negativity. What exactly does Harry mean by that? Hate speech, misinformation, and online negativity. Is he now the arbiter of what is hate speech, misinformation, and online activity? Online negativity? Quote, when the bad outweighs the good, for many, whether we realize it or not, it erodes our ability to have compassion and our ability to put ourselves in someone else's shoes. Because one per when one person buys into negativity online, the effects are felt exponentially. It's time not only to reflect, but to act. Basically, he's smearing everyone who disagrees with him. He is, I mean, he... These are very incendiary words, and he's basically calling anyone who disagrees with him a bigot. Okay, I'm continue here. Despite claims that this was an attempt to get their fans to vote Donald Trump out of office, a source close to Harry insists the Duke was not referring to Mr. Trump or any other individual. Hmm. Okay, well, they better deny it. What happened? Trump himself responded directly to them. And he tweeted, he says, he's not a fan of Meghan Markle. And he says he wishes Harry luck after ex-royal pair weigh in on election. Okay, he, this is very interesting. Donald Trump is very astute. He's not like Joe Biden, who's not there. He pinned it straight on Meghan. He said he's not a fan of Meghan. And he says he wishes Harry luck. He knows Harry's the royal handbag holder. And he's just following Meghan around. And there's more. Meghan and Harry were told to leave the U.S. by Trump advisor who said they, quote, made Britain great by leaving Britain after their vote plea. So literally, a top advisor for Donald Trump, Corey Lewandowski, he's Polish, by the way. Anybody with a ski on their name is Polish. Currently a senior advisor for President Donald Trump's re-election campaign, told the Daily Mail on Wednesday that he hopes the royal couple leaves the United States. I would remind you that Harry is not a citizen, that he's applying for a visa, and his situation in the U.S. is tenuous at best. Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. Time for a spot of royalty. This is the Time 100 Vote Trump Out uh, mess that they've just gotten into. Look at the body language between Harry and Meghan. Harry is leaned way over, away from Meghan. They're not touching. Okay, now this is a professional thing. Her leg is crossed. Okay, so she doesn't need to put her hands all over him, but she used to always put her hands all over him. Her leg is crossed. This is crossed away from him, and he's leaning away from her. He, he made some strange faces uh, like he was grimacing and such. I would have liked to post the video 
but I often get demonetized when I do, so I didn't feel comfortable posting the video. You have to be very slick and use tricks, uh, which, you know, I'm figuring out how to do. But I really feel like for Harry, this is Megan's brand. This is what Megan does. But for Harry, Harry's gone too far. He's done the one thing, you know, hey, you can go and do anything as long as you don't become a political person. Well, he's gone and done the one thing that he's not allowed to do as a royal, that he absolutely mustn't do. He can do anything. He can enjoy his life. He can go sail a boat. He can do charity work. He can be a producer. He can be an actor. He can be a voiceover guy. If they wanted him as a voiceover guy, if they wanted him as an actor, which I don't think they do, I think producing is viable, but we haven't seen him produce anything. But the one thing he can't do is be super woke Harry and uh, get involved in the political processes of another country where he's a visitor. Okay, and he's on a visa. I don't even know if his visa's been uh, approved. He did like the extra special person visa, you know, uh, because of the Invictus, he has skills that no one else has, which they're going to take Invictus away from him too. So has Harry gone too far? Because nothing is too far me for Megan, because Megan is just Megan, and she's just a bull in a china shop. Uh, but this is, for Harry, this is a problem. Has Harry gone too far? Has he crossed the Rubicon? The point of no return. Look at that. Has Harry gone too far? Okay, family, royal family, over the seas. Hmm. So we have two structure cards. We have four diamonds and four hearts. And we have ten clubs, which is a long journey often a journey over water. And 10 clubs is also the card of doing the, getting up and doing the same thing over and over, day after day. So the people closest to him, family, I would say this is royal family, uh, over the water and structure, 18, five diamonds. There's this says there's a history, there's a protocol, there are things you should do and shouldn't do. He didn't even vote in England, okay? And he even said that. He, Harry has never voted in an election, not even in Britain. Why is he interfering in the United States elections? Wow, so inappropriate. Who do you think you are, bucko? Seriously. Who do you think you are? And it's so obviously skewed toward Joe Biden, who doesn't seem to know where he is most of the time. Okay, and he goes off and he has to have a teleprompter and he goes off on rambling things and talks about the hair on his legs. And oh my gosh. So there is an established way of doing things. There's a structure and it's imposed from the outside. And this creates a, a problem. This creates a problem. So has he gone too far? Son, very publicly, as an actor, okay, making a public presentation, he's created a conflict, ten spades and butterfly. This is going to be a disaster that changes everything. So this is, right now, it's just a conflict. Donald Trump directly tweeted back, and one of Donald Trump's top advisors says, you should leave the country. That's bad, man. This is the new South Africa where Meghan says, no one asked me how I'm doing, okay? And Harry says, every, every uh, snap, every flash, I think of my mother, Diana. So, Right now, we're not seeing it. He's, there is a long history, long history imposed. And this is against that. Okay, and the royal family disavowed it. And he very publicly came out. And this conflict leads to a big disaster for him and a transformation. So I think, this, I think Harry has gone too far. 
Let's look at the Meghan and Harry body language. Let's look at the Harry and Meghan. How are they doing? Well, she obviously put him up to it. I was going to ask if she put him up to it. How comfortable... Because he looks very uncomfortable. And I think he's uncomfortable with what he's doing. Why do this if you're uncomfortable? You don't have to follow her around. How comfortable is Harry uh, doing this? Because he looked uncomfortable. His mouth, watch his mouth. His mouth, his hands, he's holding his hands. He's uncomfortable. She's just crossing her hands. But he's like... With like this, with the hands, he looks uncomfortable. How uncomfortable or how comfortable was Harry uh, in this situation versus Megan? How comfortable was Megan? Because this is Megan's thing. This is what Megan does. Let's look at Megan and Harry. This is what she does. Harry, how comfortable was he? Megan. And this is the real Harry because he's mostly balding. And they're not going to stick a fake Harry up there. They're not going to stick a body double to do something like this. Because if Megan is a narcissist, she is destroying him. And the more she destroys him, the stronger she becomes. She's going to eat him. Okay, she's going to eat the people around her. And by, her, by other people losing, she feels she wins. And that's what a narcissist will do. And, <laughs> wow. Okay, so what's going on with Harry? Cross the marriage, working together in the marriage, 10 and working together in the marriage with the woman. She made him do it, which she shouldn't have the power to make him do it. Okay, he's his own man. He needs to make his own decisions. And not only so, he needs to lead. Okay, he was clearly the stronger person when Megan entered the relationship and became a duchess. He was very clearly the stronger person, and she was following him. And then what happened? She destroyed everything. She, just, she took everything from him. So he's just following her, which, okay, any man, I don't care if you're a plumber or an auto mechanic or an accountant, it's not your job to follow the woman around, okay? Well, I want to see what kind of responses I get to that. That'll be interesting. All right, so what's going on with Megan? Veil secrets committed to secret agenda nine and four, 13, four hearts, two structure cards opportunistically committed to a secret agenda. Uh, and the people close to her, the Hollywood Illuminati thing, she's working a secret agenda. Okay. And four hearts can also be family. She's working a secret agenda in the people closest to her. Who's closest to her? This guy, Prince Harry is sitting right next to her. Fox, very cleverly making decisions. 17, five hearts, cleverly making decisions and reacting as things go. So she's working a hidden agenda. And Harry's following her. Terrible. Terrible. That's not a good look for any man. Okay, Trump himself came out and said, good luck, Harry. You know, I'm not a fan of Meghan Markle. And good luck to you, Harry. Number one, he's not blaming Harry. He's blaming Meghan very directly. And he's saying to Harry, you know, you made a mistake. So will Donald Trump take steps to expel Prince Harry from the United States? Okay. And then his top advisor, his top advisor, the top advisor to Trump came out and said, you should leave. You should leave the United States. Okay. Because they've crossed the line. Will Donald Trump take steps to expel Harry from the United States? He can just revoke, have his visa revoked. Oh boy. Now those are interesting cards. Let's remind ourselves what happened with Amorosa. Amorosa was tape recording and she made all these crazy incendiary comments. Donald Trump made... Omarosa and Donald Trump brought Omarosa into the White House, the highest place, and gave her a very key position. And then she turned and stabbed him in the back. What have we heard from Omarosa since she stabbed Donald Trump in the back? I just hear crickets. I haven't heard anything from her. 
okay? <laughs> you deal too casually with these powerful people. I worked in D.C. These people can be very, very powerful. They're like kings and princes. So will Donald Trump take steps to expel Harry from the United States? King of hearts, honest man, very strong. He's in a very strong position. Let's see. 26, 37, 10 hearts. Very emotional, 10 hearts, very emotional. The executioner is like, you're fired, Harry. This man can fire Harry. He has the power to fire Harry, just like that. Like, you're out. You're out. You're, you can't live here in the United States. He has the power to do that. Okay, and that's right on the surface. And he kind of tweeted that. He kind of let, let him know. There's a million ways that Harry cannot, you know, that Donald Trump can make it so that Harry can't stay in the United States. And his advisor says, Harry, you should leave. Okay, what do we have underneath? Ten diamonds, very solid, angel and six hearts. He's a child. He's a child in the royal family. That's what this says underneath. And his direction, this stops his direction. Hmm. He's leaving. He's a child who's left the royal family. Interesting. 16, 26, 37, 43. Jack of Diamonds. He's leaving. He's left the royal family. So will Donald take, Trump take steps? It says he can. He can kick Harry out of the United States. He can kick Harry out of the United States very easily. He has the power to do that. He can have an advisor make a single phone call and Harry's visa is going to be revoked. It's not going to be approved. There's going to be a problem. And there can be an infinite number of problems. So that, that visa never gets approved. Now the palace disavowed what Harry did. Is this too far for the palace? Is the palace going to act more forcefully against Harry? Because he's, he's crossed the line. You can't do this. And, he, and everything he does brings pride or shame to the royal family, <clears throat> whether they disavow it or not. He's a, he's a private individual. He's acting privately, which is what the palace said. But you know what? He's Prince Harry. And everybody looks at him like that. And the only power, the only influence they have, Meghan and Harry, is as royals. Okay, so they're doing this this reflects directly on the royal family. So will the palace take steps to rein Harry in now? Further steps. Because people are talking about revoking Harry's title. Revoking Harry and Meghan's titles. Okay, but what I've heard is, if they revoke the Duke and Duchess titles, then they become prince and princesses. Uh, and there's something about the uh, parliament can, can act to revoke their titles, but like the queen can't. I don't, I'm not, a, I, I would need to study that a little bit. Maybe somebody can explain that. So will the palace take additional steps? Snake underneath. They're talking about it underneath and what's best. 10, 22. A lot of people. They are really looking at this. This is a big problem. Harry's becoming just a problem. And they're talking about this. They're talking about everything. What's underneath? We have eights are everything. 16, 22. Six diamonds. Two sixes, two eights. We're getting a lot of sixes. A lot of the palace is mobilizing. And a lot of people are involved. So... Scapegoat, kick them out. Uh, transform the situation, transform the family by kicking them out. So underneath, that's definitely on the table. Kick them out of the royal family. That's rescind the titles. That's absolutely on the table. Rescinding the titles is on the table. Hmm. So let's, let's review. Has Harry gone too far? This could, trans this could change everything. His whole ride as a royal could end here. And I just can't believe it. He needs, to, he needs to run for his life with his hair on fire and get on a plane and say, I don't even know who Meghan Markle is. And that's what I think. Uh, it's, if he loses 
if they rescind his title, what is he? I don't even know. Uh, uh, I don't even know. So how uncomfortable was Harry? Harry's doing this as, you know, in cooperation with Meghan. Meghan is working a secret agenda. Harry is working with and for Meghan. Meghan is working against Harry very cleverly. She's working a secret agenda against Harry. I actually think she's destroying Harry intentionally, completely dismantling him. And that's what happened with my narcissist. I said uh, that she had com she completely dismantled me as a person. Everything that I was in my life, she dismantled it and she stole it. That's what my narcissist was doing. She was stealing my identity. She was stealing my life. She was stealing everything I had and taking it for herself. And both of us can't have it. She has to kill me. And that's why they're so brutal. That's why they're so violent and brutal. Because they need to kill the victim. They need to completely eliminate the victim because that victim needs resources to live and breathe and be who they are. And if they're taking everything you have, then, you know, they're taking your reputation. They're taking all your money. They're taking all your friends. They're taking everything you have and do. Well, two people can't share that. She can't have all of it if the other person is still around. So... She's going to completely, ex his head's just going to roll down Hollywood Boulevard. And that's how they, that's how it goes. Uh, and she's working a secret agenda against him, which is very disturbing. Will Trump take steps to expel Harry from the USA? With a word, he can do it. He has the power to do it. This man, he's looking at the king of spades, and he has the strength and the power and the ability to transform this situation and just do it. It doesn't say he's doing it. Uh, it says, yeah, it says this, this can end. He can, this, this direction can be stopped. So either Harry is stopping his uh, involvement with the royal family, which would be the dumbest thing in the world, or Trump can just put a stop to this. He can stop his settlement in the United States, which I don't think he can live in the United States. That's another dumb move. The whole thing doesn't make sense. For Harry, everything that's happening here makes no sense. Harry needs to leave. Is this too far for the palace? They're talking about this problem and what's in everybody's best interest, and they are considering removing the titles and kicking them out of the royal family, which, wow. I mean... Execution would be kinder. That's, that, that would be worse than execution for Harry. Uh, you know, Harry losing his life would be kinder than Harry losing his place in the royal family. That's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Many thanks to the generous folks who bought me a cup of tea. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment.